Yes, well, we are getting set in the Good Life food truck. Watching Adele at work is absolutely amazing in this, what looks like to us a very confined space. We're going to whip up one of her signature, one of her signature dishes, a Greek style lamb that looks and smells absolutely amazing. I'm sure it's going to taste just as good. All right, Adele, take me through the recipe. What are we whipping up right. today? We're going to start off with the tzatziki. Okay. Okay, here we have a liter of Greek yogurt. It must be Greek, yeah. We're going to add a chopped cucumber. Okay. Right. Chopped mint. Nice. Perfect complement to the lamb. Okay. Fresh garlic, one clove. Nice. And a lemon zest. A little bit of zing. You must have have to have all of your ingredients so well prepped when you yes, go to absolutely. a festival or something like that. Obviously, we make it in bulk, so we use <laughs> huge containers. But for today's purposes, this is what we this will suffice. Just mix all of that together. Oh, I love it. Quick, simple, and You can already smell yeah. all of those lovely flavors. You can add a little bit of salt and some Very black nice. pepper. And that is it. Oh, quick, simple, and easy. And yes. it's going to have a, a lovely little zesty kick as well. Mm. I'm going nice. to move this to this side. All right. So that is done. Right. All right, so what's next? We're going to move on to our lamb. Right, so you're going to use a... A deboned leg of lamb. Oh man, that looks amazing, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna move, make this onto this. We're gonna massage your paste into this lamb. Okay. Right. So you wanna get tactile, get yes. those hands dirty, yeah. Okay. And it does look like a pe beautiful piece of meat. Where do you source your, your uh, foods from? Um we try and use local butchers. And we also try and, and go with free range because that yeah. is opposite. The flavor is just amazing. It's so that is, own, yeah, yeah, that's the best. All right, so what's going into our okay. little massaging process here? <laughs> Flour. Okay. Okay. Oregano. Yes. Um, rosemary. Got to have the rosemary with the lamb. Mm. Sage. Garlic. Very nice. Especially now for winter. <laughs> Lemon zest. Also some fresh lemon. Oh, very nice. Oh, this is all about bite and kick with this yes. guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna add some oil. All right, and this is for our basting, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And lots of traditional Greek flavors going into it as well. Now, what mm. is very important here, Graham, is it needs to get messy. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you do it. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm <laughs> and I would have, you know that I would have, eh? <laughs> okay, so this needs to be. I'm gonna get a nice wet. Yes, quite wet. All right. Okay. So this is just going onto the lamb. Oh, nice, and don't hold back. Mm. No, don't hold back. No, lots of little nooks and crannies there to, Sorry, to get I'm that spacing in. Mm. Cut this in half, it's quite big. Don't worry, it will not go to waste. Um, <laughs> I just feel quite lucky that I'm not in the studio at the moment and the rest of the crew can't steal this before I've had a chance okay, to eat any. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is cut some slits into this lamb. All right, and really just let that flavor get in there. Yeah. Just a slit right here. There we go. Oh, that is a chunk here. Yeah. All right. As I mentioned, it does get messy. Yeah, as it should. This is how it mm. happens in the food trucking business. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no time for niceties, I'm sure. Um, it must get pretty heated, you know, no pun intended, because it is hot in here, that it must get very heated come festival day. Come festival day, <laughs> there's normally about six people in this truck. Yeah. Um, you know, when we're on a festival, um, normally we have about 100 to up to 300 people standing in front of our serving hatch and they want to eat. So it's not so much about taking a break, but having no, a no, shift, no. yeah. <laughs> you don't take All a break. All right. All right, well, those festival goers are, are baying for our beats. So what's, what's next on the next step? Mm. Next step, we're going to the grill. Okay. Okay, you can leave this overnight to marinate. So you just put it back into the bowl, cling film, and into the fridge. Okay, great. Okay. All um, right, so for television gonna, purposes, we're going to fly forward now. Yes, I'm going to just move over, switch on the Yeah, do that. Tractor. Right, meat onto the grill. Wait for the sound of that sizzle. Oh, mama. Very, very good. 
Oh, that's already smelling amazing. Then what else does um, our meal come with? How do we put it all together for our final creation? You're going to put your pitas in a toaster. You can also put it on a flatbed. That's okay. really how we cook it. On, um, and then your tzatziki and rock it on top. So it's, it's beautiful, it's simple, it's fresh, it's zesty. And this is how we do it on a food truck. Well, we'll bring you back down here to have a look at our finished result. Remember, you can get your hands on this recipe, these ingredients, by SMSing the keyword LAMB to 33728. That's LAMB to 33728. We'll send you a link to um, this recipe list, but also put you in the running to win an edition of that incredible cookbook called Food Trucking, where you can catch Adele's signature dish and a whole lot more. Well, the inspiration will continue. We're going to carry on cooking up our lamb down here while you round up our culinary hotline upstairs.